Let's go for a ride. Washington Fields in Washington, Utah. Let's take a tour. So here we are. We are driving into Washington Fields and we just want to give you an actual idea by driving around of what it's really like here because we like to do vlog tours. In fact, we just had a vlog tour. So a vlog is more and more on the ground walking around. We just had one. Um, I did it with our business partner, Sue. So I will link to that at the end. But we also want to give you just a driving tour because I feel like the driving tours give you a better idea of what it's really like, right? Because you're just, it was as if you're in the car with us driving around. So we're going to drive around Washington Fields. And so Washington Fields, as Sue said, that used to distinguish. So we're in the city of Washington and people used to always be like, oh, the fields, that's the new part of Washington versus downtown, which is older. But now it kind of just like blends in, like people say Washington Fields, some people don't like, but basically the, the kind of like I look at it, so you can see on our left that the big fields, it used to be the big farming community was in Washington Fields. And then when we turn left, we will see Pine Mountain. You can always have Pine Mountain, uh, nice views of Pine Mountain and the beautiful green fields in Washington. That's how you know you're in Washington fields. Yeah, they exist for now. We'll see they how... They exist for now. So obviously there are much more fields in Washington fields and they are gradually being eaten up by new developments and yes. these are very impressive um, new developments. Yeah, actually, so we should go in there because, uh, so we'll drive into, because as I said, some of these homes are on the quote older side for St. George. Not yeah, really Yeah, way old. back in 2015. Yeah, way back like in 2015. Ancient. Or even like t 10 years ago. Oh yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, but I mean, obviously, if you're coming from, I don't know, say you're coming from the East Coast or something, a 10-year-old home, that is not old, right? But for, for St. George, that is old. So, yeah. And then we'll turn left here and we'll... On Washington Fields Road. On Washington Fields Road. And, oh, you can see, so uh, somebody's driving. So here's Iron Man athlete. Iron Man's next week, so... She's uh, she's getting ready. She's prepping. She's prepping. Always be conscious of the cyclists on the road. As a former cyclist, I this is very appreciative it, when people do that. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Courtney Dazad. And I'm Sean Dazad. And we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of Utah. And if you're thinking about moving to Utah, you're going, I love the Red Rocks. I love the energy. I just am ready to move out here now, but I'm not in the area. I may be even out of state, so I don't know the first thing to do. And I totally get that. That's why you want to give us a call. So that way we can have that conversation to really understand what your needs are. And we can be your boots on the ground. We can find that perfect property for you. And remember, our team has more than 40 years of experience here in St. George, Utah. So yeah, now you can see um, Pine, Pine Mountain, Mountain yeah. yes, and it's ra rapidly melting. You can almost like see it melting. I can see it. Can't you see the, the yeah. snow melting? Yeah, like yeah, you should have seen it just a, yeah. a few weeks ago. I mean, it was like all white. I mean, it was covered. Yeah, totally. And now it's drying up. We're in the thick of spring and well, not, rapidly heading towards summer. I don't even think we got a spring. We literally went from cold it was literally snowing so uh our son he had a baseball game canceled because of snow and then literally the week next week after that it was like summer some of these homes are just absolutely massive by the way just just oh, so yeah. you know like do you want to go in there two, yeah <laughs> well we'll make our way back there again i guess we're gonna turn right here because okay. there's just so much development happening here yeah there is it's crazy so this is Majestic Fields Elementary to our right, and as we enter one of these uh, new development uh, neighborhoods, just a little uh, note on Majestic Fields, I'm pretty sure that that is a Portuguese immersion program. So one of the nice things not only about St. George, but all of Utah, so if you're coming here with a family and you're interested in language immersion, so Utah does, um, at least here in St. George, U uh, the state of Utah does more, but in St. George we have Spanish, Portuguese, and Mandarin immersion. Um, that's just something you know that's actually Portuguese so yeah look at how big these houses are and I just love the style right Me now too. Like what's going on right now with the style is so nice mm -hmm. yes I love the farmhouse style and these houses are like a pretty I mean it's kind of hard to appreciate how big some of these houses are yeah so like well you see here to our right uh, if you oh, can't really see it so you'll mm -hmm. see like a RV garage like so this is yeah. a phenomenon here where uh, so three-car garages are great look, look at that thing like that's a whole oh, wow. back thing <laughs> <laughs> they have a they have an RV garage and then they have a separate RV garage RV thing. garage a three car RV garage RV which is garage. like wow. way bigger 
Yeah, so people love their toys out here, right? Because that's why people love Utah. It is one of the best states in the country for outdoor activity. Uh, great outdoors, and one nice thing about St. George is you can be outdoors all year round. Uh, you're not gonna be limited by the cold. It does get really hot in the summer, but you can work around it. People are still out. that development there too? Like that's also uh, by Majestic Fields. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go on another one. Yeah, again, lots of, if you're looking for new homes, and what I like about the new developments that are happening in Washington Fields is one, they're nice big homes, but second, it's pretty centrally located. Sometimes yeah. a lot of the new construction happening right now is more on the fringes, on the outskirts, uh, where the infrastructure's not there yet, like, so you don't have the schools, you don't have the grocery stores and that kind of stuff. Actually, there's plenty of stuff around here, which is a nice... You know, like nice aspect of things. Yeah, so there's the elementary school, Majestic Fields. <clears throat> yeah, and then... I mean, look how pretty. I mean, these... I mean, again, the architecture, I really like. It's uh, it's really nice here. I really like the farmhouse style. I know, because Sue... <laughs> so Sue, our business partner, she she actually prefers more like the adobe. That's like more her aesthetic. Which is also nice. It I is can appreciate nice. It. it is nice. But she's always like sending me farmhouses and being like, this is your house. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you like the farmhouses. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, these are just really cute. And again, yeah, you'll see some of these homes again with the extra tall garage stall. So, let, just so you know, three three car garages are, it's not the absolute bare minimum, but a lot of people that reach out request a three car garage just because, again, they do have their tours like you were referencing. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, then you supercharge that with that third car garage being an, like a... Oh, this is actually being built. You can actually possibly see a little bit of it. Like yeah. this is actually being built with mm -hmm. the RV garage, which is just a supercharged, taller, wider, longer garage, which just it's just massive. Down? So yeah, so again, you can see a lot, a lot of development yes. happening as we speak. Already, like they've already leveled it. Yeah, they're yeah they're getting ready. They're prepping it. Yes, and it's obviously beautiful blue skies. Like I have. A friend that is in New York City, that's where she lives. And it's raining there right now. Gray skies. We are enjoying... This is why people live here, right? Because the weather is so nice. I mean, the summers are hot, but honestly, like, close to perfect weather nine months out of the year. Yeah, but we will be honest. The summers are hot. Oh, the Just, summers are brutal. You know, be real. A, a lot of people, actually, because of the brutal summers, there are quite a few people who live in St. George, um, they, they leave in the summer. So they, they go somewhere else in the summer. Yeah. Or, I mean, but if you do live, I mean, if you just decided to stay here year round, what we'll say is that what you want to make sure that you do is if you're going to do outdoor, outdoor activities, do that in the morning. Yeah. Like I would say until you have until about 11 o'clock Yeah. Where, where it's actually, it's not unbearable. Yeah. yeah. And again, in the morning, it's actually, it's even nicer. It's just that as you get, you know, to 11 to 12, it gets hotter yeah, and hotter. Yeah. So it, it, really that mm -hmm. afternoon sun is when it hits here. Like yeah. it hits here, like four o'clock is when you're yeah. just being beat down by the sun. Yeah. So just be aware of that and basically get your out, outdoor activities out of the way. Yeah. Lounge by the pool in, the, in that late afternoon kind of thing. Yeah. So, so that's kind of how you're rolling with your days basically. For sure, yeah. One, I mean, you do work around it. Uh, pickleball is like a big uh, activity here and people will start pe playing pickleball at 6 a.m. and then play till like 9 a.m. and then that's their activity for the day. Yeah, and you do have like uh, Washington Community Center basically. Mm -hmm. So we have an indoor mm -hmm. pool, water slides and stuff like that. So they do have indoor activities that you do during the day, like during the, the, the dead yeah. heat of the day <laughs> where it's yeah. like brutal. Um, so you do have that opportunity. Of course, yeah, mornings and indoor. Like so more, like have your mornings be outdoor stuff rest of the day be your indoor stuff but then the rest of the year yeah. you're you're doing stuff year round well yeah and then at night like in the summer at night i actually do find it fun to be like swimming and stuff like yeah. our kids will be swimming at night and it's like, like nine it's like, a, it's like 105 degrees yeah and they'll be outside swimming and yeah so i mean you just make use of what you have right yeah you got your misters going like yeah. it's ready to roll but again what we'll say though is that it's a dry heat so like it gets hot, but at least it's a dry heat where you're not as suffocating. That's true. I would say like, I don't really even think it's quote that hot until it gets to a hundred. Like if it's in the nineties, it's honestly not that bad Yeah. because it's so dry. Unless there's a monsoon coming, then, then you notice the humidity. Yeah. But then you have, but then it's cooler temperatures too because of the monsoon. Yeah. 
And when we say monsoon, I think <laughs> I didn't understand what that meant. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this like a hurricane coming our way? It's it is you know it, it's basically you know it's a weather event. I mean, it, but it's nothing crazy. I mean, no, it's, it's, just, it's just like heavy like, rain. Yeah, for like it, five minutes. Yeah, and it's not even that. Yeah. I again, we've yeah, it's nothing to be alarmed by because I again I don't. St. George is kind of situated pretty well where you're not really seeing too much um, insane. Like, I don't really see much flooding happening. Well, I mean, that you, I wouldn't not say that. Can't, yeah, but because like, we. So, Santa Clara has had flooding in the past. Um, like 20 years ago. Yes, it was 20 years ago. I mean, they've done a lot of work with the reservoirs and stuff, so. <clears throat> yeah, that's so it's a four car garage. <laughs> yeah. One of which is an RV garage. And, and these are like <laughs> massive. Yeah, these are really, I like, I love the style of these homes. And again, Pine Mountain behind us, if you've ever, so I'll link, again, I'll link to the vlog tour. And you might see a one home right on its own. This home actually has, I think they have that whole hill, right? Basically, oh, right behind this one. I, I don't know, see, like, I can't see oh, it. Poking through. Oh, okay, so I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's a hill, there's a home on the hilltop beyond us. They own that hill. I think so. <laughs> yeah, so. So you'll see that every so often. It's, it's actually very unusual. Certainly. It is, yeah. Oh, people got some dune buggies. Shocking. Getting ready to go out, enjoying the... Probably go to San Hollow, maybe? Yeah, San Hollow. So we're just going to pop by Lynn's, which is a grocery store really close to here. Uh, the main grocery stores here are Smith's, yeah. which is owned by Kroger's, Harmon's, which is owned by Harmon's, and then Lynn's. And then there's also Natural Grocers, which we really like. Um or new development. Oh yeah. Oh, do you want to Whoa, see? Whoa, those These are the big. insane houses. Wow. We should go actually, show, actually, yeah. let's just go show these. Yeah. <laughs> we have to show you these houses. These are probably, I'm guessing like- Five million. Yeah, ish. five million-ish. Four to, I was gonna say four to six million. Oh yeah, because we're watching million. Fields Elementary. I mean, sorry, Jim Intermediate's right there, so. Yeah, these yeah. Are the, and then just beyond it is a really impressive street that's older. Yeah, I mean, actually, what's nice about Washington Fields, it's not, it doesn't have to be brand new construction for, like, there's some nice existing homes. Yeah, so you look at this massive home to our right. Yeah, these are like 12,000, 10,000 square foot homes. Yes. There's like, no, these are... Insane, yeah. Yeah, if you like entertaining, <laughs> these yeah. homes are for you. For sure, yeah. So, uh, I'll also link at the end, so we when we went to the, the Parade of Homes, of homes yes. my personal favorite home was actually a home similar to these, in Washington Fields, a giant, massive home. I, I believe is what the asking price was five point five million. So I'll link to that at the end. But you can see the inside of it as well. Yeah. Wow. So you can just see how massive these homes are. Actually, so look, I was here like yeah. a month ago. This street has gotten so much yeah, more this, built this up. Is, this is the Parade of Homes one, right? Or no, no wait. this isn't. Sorry, I no. just got. The... No. I got... Wow! Look at this house. Yeah. So actually, it's crazy how quickly they move on these because this street, <laughs> this street like a month ago was in, totally different. So this is Adam Lane. So this is an older street. It used to kind of be like its own little street in the middle of nowhere, this little pocket, very beautiful uh, estate homes, older, oh, again, using quotation marks, older for St. George, but these massive, um, they almost look like Southern estates. Like they remind me of like, it almost feels like I'm in like Georgia or something. Like suddenly I've entered. I mean, it's big. Yeah. I mean, cause these yeah. are like, these are estates. Like these are mansions mm -hmm. or like, you know, in, in Dallas or something like that. Like yeah. one of the, <laughs> yeah, it's, like legit, like big homes. Yeah. So, um, and we can show you some, I'll, I'll show you some B roll so you can see the actual homes. Cause I know when you're driving, you can't really see it. So, yeah, yeah, you can just get an idea while we're passing by. What a nice, stately uh, street this is. No kidding. But, yes. Okay, so then we'll just go to Lens to show you the... Yeah, just proximity. So that way yeah. you know, like, again, and as we joke around, everything's within 15 minutes of city center, and that's uh, that remains to be the case here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's one really nice thing about... Washington Fields is like how Sean was saying how centrally located it is. It's so nice. Yeah, like what they did a nice job. Like the homes, the style of what they're doing here with the new construction is pretty awesome. And on top of that, it's centrally located. And you get you get a nice mix of like the infrastructure is here, which is nice. Like it's not mm -hmm. like you don't have to go far. Like even though like you know like for instance, desert color is awesome. We love it. 
but it is kind of, again, farther out there, and yeah, it is kind of farther out there. You don't have stuff that's built yet, necessarily, that's right there. In terms it was of infrastructure. Yeah, infrastructure. Yeah, exactly. Here, it's already, stuff's already here. Yeah, this, this street here is, um, so the e South 20 East, uh, yeah, <laughs> nice street. And then, oh, and then we talk about these things. So this is 20 East. This is like, uh, like the, the streets here, just so you know, <laughs> we go off the grid system. So people will be a little bit confused. I, when I first saw it, got here, I didn't understand what this even meant. Well, I'm like, how do you read this address? It doesn't make any sense, yeah. but it, it, you know, you, you get the hang of it. Yeah. It's just a, it's a great Oh, system. this was the parade of homeless ones over here. Oh yeah. Those over there. Yeah. So this is also, this is, uh, this, this is Washington Fields Field Intermediate. Intermediate. And then, yeah. like, she want to let them know there's four type, there's four levels of, like, school. Yeah, so it goes to elementary, then to intermediate school, uh, which is uh, sixth and seventh grade. Then it goes to middle school, which is eighth and ninth grade. And then high school is 10th through 12th. And actually, what you will see at times is uh, hot air balloons kind of venturing yes. over. Like, we actually saw one just laying right there. <laughs> yeah. There's that a was lot pretty of, funny. Uh, hot air balloons, very popular. So yeah, we'll go. We'll actually go by the Parade of Homes uh, development development as well, just to show you that. Yeah. So these are. This was one that was like. There's the ones here that were like five, five and a half million, give or take, about twelve thousand square feet. Just a massive, massive home. I mean, yeah. So one straight up. That yeah, one. Yeah, straight ahead of us to our right. That's the. So again, I'll link to it at the end, so you can see inside of it in the video at the end. Yeah, absolutely stunning, gorgeous home. It has a basketball court inside there. So, I mean, who could live in a home without a basketball court inside? Well, I guess if you're a basketball player, you couldn't. Well, and also, like, that's one way to get out of the, the summer heat is to have an indoor that's basketball true, court. That's true. That's true. That is nice. Uh, and this home to our left, it seems small by comparison. <laughs> <laughs> it does. So puny. I know. It only has a five-car garage, one of which being a... RV garage and then this is a new development happening already yeah so Oak Grove Meadows new development happening so again if you're wanting to find out more about these properties it's, again they're springing up all the time and they don't the vast majority of these builders or like the land developers do not advertise I don't even know like they just kind of stick a, 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 a sign in and that's and we're constantly monitoring it and you know touching base with people to understand what's for sale, what's not for sale, that kind of thing. So reach out to us if any of this stuff is interesting to you because you want to get in early because, again, these phases, they get more expensive over time typically. Yeah, typically the first phase is like a certain price, then it goes up, then it goes up, then it goes up because people start finding out about it. Oh, and it's hilarious when you see like like a phase for sale and then they lie. Like we're like, oh, price in the 500,000s. <laughs> and like there, there's nothing there because that was like, years old they yeah. just never updated the sign yeah and they really don't try as for these builders i mean these developers don't try when it comes to selling their property <laughs> yet another development over here yeah this was actually in the parade of homes too yeah by SNS, the franklin yeah. franklin fields yeah so we're still in the thick of washington fields we're kind of just kind of going in and out yet another development street <laughs> there's so much stuff we can't stress like so much stuff going on right now yeah it's kind of incredible it is it is kind of incredible, I will say that. So here, here's a nice view of Pine Mountain uh, in front of us uh, and the red rocks like below it. I, I believe they're red because of the iron in them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then Pine Mountain, I think it's like a certain kind of mountain. It's like mostly granite. So that's what makes, I guess, the winters here not as uh, cold. So yeah, it's, it's why we have a, a fairly temperate climate at least nine months out of the year. The yes. rest, the, re the, the summer is brutally hot. Okay, so here's Linz, you wanna just yeah. go to Linz? I was gonna make a left and just kind of run through this and then oh. and to, to, to Smith's right here too. So right here is kind of like your, like again, quick little plop for, you have a grocery store here that's called Linz, popular. And then we're gonna make a left and again, right across the street is Smith's, which it's also like in the most popular grocery store here. And what you'll find is that you'll have, uh, is that Swig's? Swig's are over there too, I think. Oh yeah, the soda shop? Yeah, so what you find here is a phenomenon of soda shops that uh, we didn't really understand this when we first moved here. But soda, like flavored sodas are a thing where they have their own standalone stores. So it's not like it's part of 
uh, you know, like uh, McDonald's or whatever. Like, they have their own stores with their own, and they kind of their own concoctions. So, yeah, so you see, like, so this is already here, is, you know, the way about, way about this developing. You have, like, you know, Washington Fields Plaza here, which you have Dairy Queen, Lynn's, like, uh, 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 Starbucks. And on top of that, you also have, to our right coming up, this is where Smith's is. So, and then all, if you go right, you'll like actually hit like Costco print within a few minutes time as well. So like there's a lot of things right around here, which is pretty awesome. And then this is right here. So you have like a Ace Hardware. You do have Home Depot and Lowe's of course as well, but this is right here. Home Depot and Lowe's like five more minutes away. And then uh, Panda Express, you have uh, Smith's in the oh, shopping center. Oh, Aubergine Kitchen, that, that just opened. And Swig, of course, most importantly. True. And we have a car wash, of course. Of course. Dino Dash Car Wash. Our son's friend actually owns that car wash, so. <laughs> so it's not what you know, but who you know, right? I know. So yeah, I guess that's about it for what it is. So yeah, so that's, that's just kind of giving you a quick little of, of feel of Washington Fields, really cool place. And remember, we are licensed realtors here in the state of Utah. So as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email.